Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last part, we finished the freaking Dreamweaver's world. That's what it's called. Uh, we did the last three stages of it, and in this part, we're going to be going to the final world. Nasty Nork's world. And it shall be glorious. So, uh, this is the homeworld. It's called the Nork Nexus, which I love that name so much. Uh, it doesn't really have too much going for it. It's got a whole one dragon and, like, 200 gems, I think. But, uh, some of said gems are not actually available yet. They are inside the mouths of these dragon statue things. They're not really statues, but they're, like, gates to the other stages, basically. Uh, let's talk to Dragon Man here. Hello, Delbin. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Alrighty. I kind of wish the the one in the middle here had, had been uh, Nestor, the first dragon you rescue in the entire game, but whatever. I, I'm fine with how they did that, obviously, because, yeah, I am not the game designers, because that would be weird. Anyways, first stage, Nork Cove, is a very, very, very fun stage. Uh, first of all, there's these, uh, there's guys that throw barrels at you and you have to charge them back at them and then there's barrel dispensers and you have to charge the barrels at other norks. They're not really norks, they're... Yeah, it's kind of surprising that Nork Cove doesn't have norks in it. Unless it does, later. I don't actually remember. But anyways, uh, there's TNT. You can flame it and it does stuff. Sort of like Crash Bandicoot TNT, except on a way shorter timer. And, uh, that, that's a thing you can do. Yeah, I'd say somebody with metal armor probably shouldn't be carrying a TNT barrel around with him. What a silly. Anyways, let's glide over here. Grab ourselves a failure. Well, hi there. Ah! And, uh, you also have a TNT barrel, which has blown you up. Yeah, explosions. Clonk. Jump over the barrels. Once again, we're... <laughs> well, not really once again. Ne never mind. Ne never mind. Ignore me. I was about to reference an episode of Crash Bandicoot that hasn't come out yet. But yeah. Stuff is happening. Here's a dragon. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. They make Nork boots? Like, they make boots out of norks? That's disturbing. Anyways, uh, here's a... thing. And, uh, yeah, I died. Uh, let's do that again, but without the failure. Like, the failure is... Once again, it is an option, but it is never the best option. But anyways, here's, uh, more monies. Always gotta get more monies and more barrels. Because this is apparently a Donkey Kong game. And crash. Uh... Wait, where am I? Oh, there, there's the place where I want to be at. Whoop! <laughs> I 
I, I was wondering how long that would take to happen. Uh, wait, how do I... Oh, I guess I have to use that barrel up there. I suppose that is fine. That is a thing that I can do. Speaking of things that I can do, that's one of them. And uh, here we've got more TNT. And more gems. There's, there's always more gems. It's a Spyro game. There's gems everywhere. Well, I'm not sure about some of the later Spyro games, but I'm pretty sure there are gems in pretty much every one. Except perhaps Skylanders, which isn't a Spyro game, but it has Spyro in it, so that's a thing. Okay, that is uh, death-inducing water. Awesome. Just what I want to see. Okay, let's uh, try this again. And by again, I mean for the first time, since I never got a chance to the first actual time. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, we've got yet another barrel-throwing guy. And, uh, yay chain reactions, that was kind of cool. And, uh, dragon. Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro! You gotta believe! <laughs> <laughs> that was the best line ever. Uh, you gotta believe! Uh, I, I will never get tired of that. That is my favorite line. At least in this stage. I'm not sure about in the game, but it's definitely up there. And uh, we've got Tent. And Goodbye. Gotta love Norks standing on TNT barrels like morons. And uh, speaking of morons, by the way, I need to stop calling them Norks. They are not Norks. Bad me. And uh, here's this. And how did I still hit that? I totally shouldn't have, but whatever. I'm not going to complain much. That had way more gems in it than I expected. So many explosions! Clonk. Okay, I guess you can explode then. Oh, I came here too early. I don't have the key for that yet. Damn it. Whatever, I can just come back later. But not much later, because the stage is actually almost over, if I remember correctly. Well, there's the key. Just pause for a second to check my recording. Make sure it's actually still going. And the chest has now spewed out everything. And by everything, I mean a somewhat small amount of gems. But whatever. Here's more gems and a barrel. Insert I'm a barrel joke here. Yeah, Th those definitely weren't overdone in that episode at all, but whatever, I, I still found them entertaining. Hip! Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why? I'm, I'm stupid. Why am I stupid? Ah! Clonk. Okay, let's fail at this jump again. Yay, I didn't fail at this jump again. And whirlwinds! Whirlwind away! And last ten gems. 
Yay! Returning home. It's not really home. Returning to the Nork Nexus. I don't consider that home, and neither should you. Uh, by the way, this chest has a an inordinately large amount of gems in it. Like, those would not all fit in that one chest, but whatever. Uh, here's Twilight Harbor. Yay. Small amount of gems. Well, small number of gems, not really a small amount. That's totally the same thing, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, these guys are jerks, because they have machine guns. And, uh, they don't like you very much. But, uh, you, you can kill them fairly easily with your charging. Ow! What the hell just... Why can't I get out? There we... What was... What the hell was that? D eh. Die. <laughs> Give me your money. I deserve it for what, all the shit that I've been through. Whee! Hello. You have a grenade and a kniffy. Which is more like a machete, but whatever. Still totally a kniffy. Ah! I didn't realize there was a gap there. That was me being dumb. I couldn't tell if that guy was large or not. Too large to be charged, so I flamed him instead. Oh, and there's some stuff over there that I would have completely forgotten about otherwise. So it is a good thing that I looked behind me for no real reason. Wow! You have a gun. A very large gun. Why would- why do they allow guns in a children's game? They'll corrupt the children of our age. Never mind, I don't even know. Okay, let's let's just miss one of them. And the other one just disappeared. As soon as I flamed him. Hello there, dragon. Cosmos! Thank you for releasing me. You make me sad. You gotta have one more of those. I think that's the last one at least. The last of the thank you for releasing these. Yeah, you 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 don't even get to do anything. You get to miss. That's about it. Uh that is a grenade. Okay, so now over here we have a drawbridge. We're just gonna go over it for now. But, uh, afterwards we will... Well, we'll free this dragon first, why not? Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Thank you once again, Slackjaw Yokel. Alright. So... Here's a life. And, uh, last supercharge ramp of the game. We're just gonna go over this way and around. And... Boom! Yay! That, that was a lot of fun. But, uh... Gotta do one last supercharge. First off, gonna do this. Uh, except not fail at it. Uh, can I just... I can just flame it, okay. So. Time for what is probably going to be the last supercharge of the game. Doing! Totally worth it.
Gotta say, Supercharge is a lot more fun than I than I let on in this LP. It is hard to control, but it's still way too much fun. And I uh, almost thought I was going to fail at that jump, like I do every other jump, and there's an extra life that I'm not going to go for. Because I don't feel like it. Just... Okay, let's not lower the drawbridge then. We can just jump over it. Gah! Why are you shooting me? Why are you also shooting me? Why do you insist on shooting me? Thank you for not actually shooting me. Or even getting to fire your gun before I murder you and your family. Not really your family, unless those other norks with you were, were indeed your family. And you are gone forever. And you are gems. And gems make me happy on the inside and the outside and the left side. Yeah. Hip. Oh, damn it. That was... Why did I even... Damn it. Oh, come on now. That... I totally should have hit you there. Whatever. Jump over you. And jump over you. And... Not jump over you, apparently. But don't get knocked into the pool of everything. I, I don't know why I called it the pool of everything. It's very clearly blood. Unless it isn't. Which it probably isn't, but whatever. That's, that's it for this stage. Returning home. 400 extra gems in tow. So. We, we have this, this, uh, this gem box here. So, let's, uh, just for fun, let's take a look at our totals after this rolls down, or up, or over, or whatever you want to call it. We've got, uh, as you can see, there's another dragon in the Nork Nexus, which we can't access yet. But, uh, we have 500 gems remaining, and one dragon, again. And, uh, yeah, this sure is Nasty Nork. We sure are going to be finally facing him in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching this episode, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.